Hey there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for this full moon reading for 227 2021. February 27th is our full moon. It's in Virgo. It's a very powerful full moon um, coming after a month of powerful energies. We had the Stargate from 2, two to 212. We are in Mercury retrograde. We had the Aquarius stellium. We just yesterday, today's the 23rd. Yesterday was the 22nd, the 222 portal for divine union and a ton of energy coming through to help us in divine union number one means with ourselves and then um, eventually with others but with ourselves with our souls with our soul guides and guardians and that helps usher us to and others to us that are in alignment if you don't know who I am, my name is Infinity, and I am a psychic, physical empath, medical medium. I channel, I do regular mediumship, I give psychic advice in various ways. Obviously, I do tarot and oracle. You can book a private read with me. Um, there's many options on my website. And I'm also a, an energy healer, a distance energy healer. I work worldwide with people and animals to eliminate pain, chronic illness to align chakras and energy and i'm an ascension coach and spirit liaison and i have a ton of information on my website many uh ebooks and i uh, as i said i think that i'm an astral meditation guide and uh, i have a lot of meditations on my podcast and on YouTube, but what you see on YouTube is not anywhere near all of them. They're mostly on my podcast. So check that out. Evolve Now Lightworkers with Infinity. All of the links um, you can get you from uh, thehealingbutterfly.org slash infinity, or you can just go straight to my website, The Healing Butterfly. Either way, you'll find me and all that I do there. And uh, with that said, let me uh, let you know what's going on here. I was guided to go completely out of order with what signs I was doing. Um, I know a lot of times us readers tend to go in a particular order. And I was prepared to do that, but then I was guided to not do that and to use my pendulum and to really just tune into the energies of the different signs to see which one I was going to do first, second, third, fourth. We're on to the fifth one, which is you, Scorpio. And then I was guided to do, to bring out all of my, my decks of cards, eight decks of tarot, five decks of oracle, and just see which decks we're going to work with. Also with each sign. At the same time, these have tended to be longer readings, even than usual that, I, that I'm used to doing um, for these generals for YouTube. These have been close to an hour long. I know that's a long time, but it really flies by. It definitely doesn't feel that long to me, but I'm in it. I'm getting information. I'm fully invested in it. And if you want this information, hopefully you'll be invested in it too. But if you don't have a lot of time, um, then maybe this isn't for you, or maybe it's not for you all in one shot, you know, maybe watch it 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there until you consume it all and then decide. Um, so anyway, let's get started with the read and see what we get for you, Scorpio. We'll see what I tune in here. I'm just gonna light some incense. Really just whoa, look at that go. <laughs> it's a uh, kind of sage and, and copal and rose and all sorts of good stuff. Lilac. Let's clear the energy here. I've already cleared all the cards. I may still do it anyway. Let's just see, what are we gonna do with Scorpio? Well, first off, we've been using the Moonology Oracle in every single read, because it's the full moon, why not? Uh, Archangel Oracle, we're gonna use, we're gonna use the Lightseer's Tarot. We're gonna use the uh, Wild Unknown Tarot to qualify, it looks like. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. We're going to use the, the fairy oracle. And the dragon fairy oracle. Oh my God. Now I'm filling another one. Which one is it? 
Okay, wow, here we go. Very, very magical with the um, the Fairy Oracle by Brian Froud. Um, very magical, very magical Oracle. All of these are actually. <laughs> and then the Dragon Fate Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. Uh, the Archangel Oracle by Doreen Virtue. And those are our oracles and we have our two tarot decks. Okay, so without further ado, Scorpio, let's get going into it. See what we get. Last couple reads. A shit ton of full moons. <laughs> the same full moons. Uh, so anyway, just could happen again. Last, my last reads that I did, we were getting the same same moonology cards for several of the of the reads that was interesting um this time it's very powerful full moon cards that are coming over and over again so we'll see what happens with this one oh oh these are very different cards digging it expect powerful change i love this oh my god Goodness gracious. <gasps> Woo wee! New moon eclipse. Well, yeah, that's some serious energy. We've got the new moon eclipse. We have don't let your past hold you back, the south node. Don't let your past hold you back. And we have the energy is gaining momentum. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> true, true. Energy is gaining momentum. Very, very true. Um, I want to get. I want to get at least one more in here. Let me get this one right here. Oh, North Node. We have South Node and North Node. Very cool. Step out of your comfort zone along with don't let your past hold you back. North Node and South Node. Nice and balanced there. I dig it. So. Right off the bat, I'm feeling like this portal, this past new moon, the stargate, the stellium, the Mercury retrograde, all of it has had a profound effect on you, Scorpio. And you felt a major shift, a major shift. Maybe you've even had your spiritual awakening. Maybe you've come out of your, uh, your dark night of the soul. Um, you maybe you've had some profound healing or you're feeling like you need to, um, but it feels like you've had, you've had things go on recently that have been wowza and then it's, but more is coming. <laughs> more is always coming, especially if you're in it and paying attention. So we've got that going on. Um, definitely feeling, uh, feeling this energy here. Uh, and then it's saying the energy is gaining momentum. So this powerful change is gaining momentum. So, uh, these are, these are definitely together. Don't let the past hold you back. So I'm hearing, you know, programs, constructs, uh, that we, you know, we're plugged into the matrix as we, as we, grow, get older, whatever, our belief system, what we're, what we subscribe to, what we've known our whole lives, just all this stuff, what we think the world is, what we think reality is, and we have our spiritual awakening, and we find that that's a very, very different thing, and we can feel kind of like in a free fall sort of thing, um, and so there's this period of what's real, what's going on kind of thing. I think you're past that, but I still feel that you're like trying to keep life normal in a sense. Um, but mo mostly it's about, Adopting a new set of, of perspective, new new perspectives, letting the past go so you can integrate this this new um, set of energies that are coming in that's really shaking up your awareness, opening up your third eye, you're noticing synchronicities, that sort of thing. Um, and but there's just more of this because you're meant for this uh, this journey to awaken 
you're somebody who has a soul mission and you definitely need to integrate these energies i would say first and foremost would be to please learn about energy please i feel like i'm really speaking to an empath or empaths here they're the ones who usually find me and um and you, you may just be starting to understand what that means and, and still even a little a little uh like you don't believe it's real or that's you a lot i mean a lot of i meet a lot of empaths or a lot of empaths find me that didn't think they were empaths and they are. And so to know for sure, check out my website. I have an ebook called The Essential Empath Guide. And at the beginning of that book is a quiz. So you can take the quiz and find out if you're an empath and, um, and then take it from there. I have a ton of information on my website about energy, how to fix empaths, how empaths are biological, not theoretical. And if you're an empath, it's because you're designed physically differently than people who are not empaths. So you need to see it from that point of view. There's links to um, a lot of articles on psychology today about empaths and the science of empaths. So please don't just pass it off or don't let others pass off the fact that you're an empath, or if you know you're an empath, that it's just being sensitive because it's so much more than that. And you're actually a superhuman with super abilities, superpowers. So yeah, okay. Scorpio. Claire Cognizance with Archangel Uriel. And look at that rainbow. So this this card has come through a couple times, and with this with these this set of reads, and it's really to let us know that we've been tapping in with this energy. I just did a meditation the other day. It's on my website and my YouTube. I mean, on my podcast on my YouTube for healing from fears, judgment, shame, guilt, all that stuff. We integrated with um with our bodies with our energies we've worked with gaia mother earth i channel her in our med my meditations she's the one that pretty much designs every meditation that i do i don't i just show up and i channel and what comes comes um but uh we work with her and pay attention to your thoughts and ideas they come to as they are answered prayers so again it's it's having a clear mind, body, spirit, soul, energy centers, and all of this, so you can pick up on those, on those uh, messages and and get the get the information that you need, whether it's about you or about anybody else. Um, paying attention to what comes to your mind, and in a clear way, just makes life so much easier. And moon cycles. <laughs> Moon cycles with Hannah Yell. Uh, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize on these energies. So coming up with the full moon, that is the energy of really um, putting forth your energy about manifesting coming in because we have all this power with it, with the new moon. I'm sorry, with the full moon coming. And um and so that's what this reading, this reading is about the full moon, right? So it makes sense to get the, get the moon, the moon cycles here. And yeah, I uh, take more notice into what's going on with the moon every day. There's lots of moon apps. Um, I use the actual one called the moon app. I really like it. It tells you what's going on with the moon every single day um, but there are several of them i should probably look and see what other ones they have um but, but yeah get more in tune especially if you're a woman with your periods um it's it's a really interesting thing to chart when you get your periods new moons full moons um portals things like this if it's changing every couple months to to do that sort of thing um for whatever uh different things are going on and just to see how your life and your body things are going according with that okay um i'm hearing one more career transition scorpio archangel shamuel your life purpose is trailing is triggering a blessed career change look at that 
So you may be getting to that some point here in the near future, your, your spiritual awakening, your triggering, um, your life purpose is triggering a, a blessed career change is going to get you more in alignment with what feels good to you. Could be very different from anything you've done in the past. I just got this picture of animals, working with animals. So maybe I'm talking to somebody who might be getting into working with animals. Maybe you're being called to do that. It's totally different from what you've done before. But in any case, whatever it is for you personally, um, uh, don't let the past if this came through. Don't let the past hold you back. Know that you're you're take you're being taken on a journey to step out of your comfort zone. So whatever might be coming up for you, as maybe it's just a side gig, maybe it's some kind of like thing that you're like, oh, that sounds cool, but I never thought I'd do that. Do it because whether that's the the actual job or a career that's gonna be whatever i think we're just all in, in flow and flux until we die when it comes to what we're doing honestly and what we're needed to do at any given time but not only could it be what your next job is or career is but it could very well lead you to to people and just so i'm seeing doors kind of opening there but you have to really take this leap of faith um and to do something very different uh and exciting they even involve travel i'm hearing um and that might sound really good to you <laughs> okay next up let's get into the fairy oracle so we got those we also have to do that one okay The fairy oracle. I am going to light some incense on this. Alrighty. Hope you're having fun, Scorpio. This is this is fun information. I like these cards. They're very. I'm really picking up on this energy with you. Um, I'm hearing a lot of new. So just take your time. Be patient with yourself. Um, you need to get out of the house. Get out of the house. Oh, look at this. Sheet of the Grotch. Card number five. This is like divine feminine energy. Very powerful feminine energy with this one. Card number three. Sorry, card number five. I don't know why I said three. Card number five. How pretty that is. All energy. It's like a cup being able to be filled up. And if they, you can see whatever you may see in it. <coughs> Excuse me. So the receptive principle, nurturing and fertility. Okay. This is the great goddess, the many named mother of all and all goddesses are attributes or aspects of her. This smoke is going right in my face. <laughs> um, her cup, her grotch overflows with bounty for all she is the yin energy of the universe nurturing compassionate and wise she gives form and brings into manifestation the will and the life force of he of the fiery sword so that's the card number four is he of the fiery sword which is um, the active principle spiritual will justice protection uh his is the intention, the action, and hers is the manifest reality. In a sense, she is the grotch holding all the worlds within her being. 
one Oracle group member saw the garage as a great goal, like a serving tool for seeing past, present, and future potential, but filled with energy instead of water. Within it, he saw a tower within a moon above, with a moon above it, a farmhouse, and many other bits and pieces of our world. Let me show you again, or look it up on uh, uh, Google. So the Brian Froud uh, Fairy Oracle, and this would be She of the Garage, card number five. He felt that if you drop something in the water, these things would scatter out to become reality, archetypes manifesting everywhere. He said, she is the woman who dreams and her dreams are the world and all that is in them. Looking at this card, another Oracle group member notes, what I see here is the energy of being held lovingly in the palm of the hand of the great goddess, followed by a relaxed sigh and release. Oh, that's beautiful. That's actually what we do in my healings when we connect with Gaia in my Evolve Now program in the phase one. We actually literally connect with her and, and you, you get that close with her. Um, that's with Gaia, not with the feminine aspect of, of mother, father, God, but, but she is such a big fractal of that, that principle, that energy, that it's just is so, so lovely, so beautiful. Okay. Um, Uh, she of the Grotch is the holder of all of our sorrows and all of our joys. Her Grotch, the mirac miraculous chalice, is the womb of birth and the cauldron of rebirth, the chalice of healing, the container holding the germinated seed, the germinating seed. She is the body, the soul shrine that holds the spirit and keeps it from being lost or dissipated in a formless fog. She is a pattern and form in the abstract and in the specific. Within her, we take form, grow, achieve fulfillment, and let go of that form to move on to the next phase of our being. All of the universe, each individual particle, every being is cherished by her. And she of the grotch may indicate a form of pregnancy, a necessary time of nurturing and development. We need to be open to her overflowing grace. She may also indicate a need to allow her nurturing grace to flow through us excuse me, to others in the form of unconditional love and giving and spiritual healing. She tells us of the need to, for unconditional receiving of making the best of what we are offered. She also reminds us that unbounded love and grace is ours and just waiting to be accepted. Yes, I love it. The presence of this card in a reading radiates comfort and nurturing to the cards around it. Oh, this is so lovely. It's just so. <sighs> it's just so uh, tender, so tender, this energy coming in to help you Scorpio through this transition that you're going to that you're going through, going to be going through. Um, and to really uh, accept this, this bond that you have, this infinite bond, this beautiful bond with the great mother, with mother earth, with our greater mother and um, allow for that love to come in and to heal you and to guide you to healing further, to taking care of yourself. Um, yeah. Uh, beautiful. So let's see what we get with the tarot. I may be sent back into the into the fairy oracle, but let's see what we get with the tarot and how this nurturing energy from she of the grotch, our beautiful um, mother goddess energy that we all flow from. That's part of us, our divine feminine aspect. Um, 
this goodness. I'm excited. Let's see what's in store for this full moon around it and beyond it. Oh. Love that smoke. They're popping, ready to roll, ready to roll. Here we go, first one. Two of pentacles in reverse, the empress in reverse, the devil in reverse, the death card in reverse, the ace of pentacles in reverse, the king of cups in reverse, the four of pentacles in reverse, and judgment in reverse. Yeah, so <laughs> just taking this in. Uh, these are awesome cards, by the way. Really great cards. Two of Pentacles, the Empress, the Devil, the Death card, the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. What's so interesting is that they're all in reverse, obviously. Um, so it, this tricks up the read, the read, this. I'm hearing you've been kind of not, not wanting to see what you've been seeing. Not wanting to see what you've been seeing. So things feel very upside down across the board. Um, even though all of this is really, really good stuff, very positive. And you may be saying, what's so good about the devil and the death card <laughs> together right next to each other here? Um, oh, you don't see them here. Let me show you. The death card and the devil card. So let me show you here. I'm sorry, I have not shown you yet. Just taking it in myself here. So we have the two of pentacles, the empress, the devil. I'm showing you the right side up. The devil card, the death card, death and rebirth, actually. Death and rebirth. Let's see that. See how it says death, rebirth. And then ace of pentacles. King of Cups, Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles, sorry, Four of Pentacles, and Judgment. So let's start here. <laughs> let's start here with Judgment. So what we have here is what Judgment really represents is balancing and healing and coming into the awareness of their being, coming from the lower and going to the higher dimensions and, and vibrations and frequencies within yourself and within the universe, with on and upon Gaia, basically. That's how this is the gist of it with, with the Judgment card. And as you can see, when we're in reverse, we're just kind of, it's, it's going down and not up kind of thing. Uh, and I'm really feeling that this is why we got this energy with, with our mother goddess here, because you, you need that support. You need to know that this is such a bigger thing that, that it goes all the way back to, to that, to that, that deep that deep connection, the Empress. So the Empress is always 
Um, again, this is a time for, for connecting with, with nature and creation and all of that. So you have this double time here, but you do have it again in reverse. The devil, especially in this deck, if you see there's somebody, you know, he's down there, he's upset, he's, and we've got, we've got the devil up here um, reaching his hand out. And really what the devil represents is this um, entrapment of illusion of what's not real. And um, yourself, your, your, you yourself, you have yourself trapped is usually what that means with the devil card. It's not usually somebody else has you entrapped. It means that, that you are the one that are held by illusions. Could be addictions, could be a, a codependent person, it could be um, being held up by, you know, from the pain of your past. That could be, you know, be the, the thing of it. Um, the fact, though, that you have the death and rebirth, the devil, the empress, the ace of pentacles, the king of cups, judgment with this four of, I mean, it's just very strong energy here, very, very strong energy. Um, the death and rebirth card is exactly that. It's about coming into a new, a new paradigm starting. Um, it's different than the fool. The fool is just starting out. The death card is about um, that point on your journey where it's a shift in energies, a shift in the paradigm of when, of, where, of what you were um, as you as you began and, and you changed into this other thing there's or or major shifts in your world that's that's a catalyst for that uh let's clarify with the uh well unknown let's clarify with the well unknown See what we get. I'm, I'm seeing that south and north node and feeling again that upside down, that upside down. Like I'm even picking up on somebody like going from the northern to the southern hemisphere even. Three of cups. I'm going to take that right side. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. The tower in reverse, the ten of cups in reverse, the nine of pentacles in reverse. Definitely, definitely, definitely. The five of swords in reverse, <laughs> the seven of wands in reverse, the hangman in reverse, and we have the ten of swords right side up. A lot of cards in reverse again, and that th that three. Let's qualify that. I'm gonna go further. Qualify this three of cups because it did land sideways. I chose to put it straight up, but let's see what we get with another card. Okay, so that one popped and flew in reverse. It is the, what is this? The eight of wands, clarifying that three of cups that I put in straight up, but I'm really feeling that maybe that was supposed to be upside down too, in reverse, because we do have that, that eight coming up on top of it. Very intense energies coming in, Scorpio, big time, boom shaking things up we have the we have the tower above we have the tower above uh, or clarifying the empress so it's kind of like what you knew or what you thought you knew about the divine feminine um uh that mother nature in general like a lot of people just see her as a, like she's a planet she's not a sentient being she's not aware she doesn't know us she's you know mother nature is wild and chaotic and not anything divine and that's very off and i thought that way too so it's not like i'm judging i did not i did not know until i spiritually awoken and she started 
coming and channeling with me that that she's an actual sentient being and very very much aware like it said about you know that our divine you know the divine feminine the the she of the grotch that that she very actively is attached to and loves everything in her creation so it's like for example when i when we go into um our healings with people to meet with her for their chakra um healing she she connects with them like because she has she connects with them in the sense that every single incarnation that they've had she's known them as one being and she has the record of that just like any mother would be like i've known you since you were born you're 80 years old does it mean that you're not my baby and i've known you since you were since you were one day old kind of thing is how she looks at us for like all of our lifetimes put together and i think that for like most of the world people don't understand how much she is involved in our development she's the one who came to me and said we're going to heal people and we're going to connect with people and i'm like oh, okay <laughs> uh and she's been a hundred percent the one involved in designing and taking us where we go in our meditations she's been uh well it's been a team effort when it comes to how i stretch structured my healings but she is the first thing we do she's the first one that we that we work with and and so anyway um it's understandable to for that to be kind of wild in theory i get it but it is the truth and as you spiritually awaken this connection this awareness of gaia being what she is and and i mean if you think that we can be powerful psychics imagine what a powerful psychic our mother earth is and the kind of work she can do with energy i mean working with us is just like uh, changing a baby's diaper is what she's saying to me right now it's like changing a baby's diaper the baby just you know they can struggle you can still try to you know clean them up but it's better if they're like oh change my diaper and they're like have you ever changed a baby's diaper um that's what she just showed me right now it's pretty funny but uh anyway it feels like and then here's another another card this ten of cups in this deck is i mean number one always talking about abundance and stuff this is coming over the devil card which is supposed to be in reverse over that devil card um but this always represents portal energy to me, healing energy to me, somebody or a situation that is like really um, in, uh, intentionally going through this transition very happily, but again, in reverse. Um, so it's like, the towers here with, with, the, with the Empress, the nine of pentacles above, nine of pentacles, another really, really potent, abundant energy. I'm feeling the abundance matrix with that. The abundance matrix is the crystalline grid within Gaia. I feel like there's just a lot of richness and abundance that's waiting to pop for you, but but first we really have to deal with like, and again, this is supposed to be in reverse. We have to deal with severing the ties to the past, letting go of the illusions, the illusions that you had from the past and um, allowing for the understanding, the connection of guardian angels, of getting into meditation. Cause I'm seeing here that it's like, you may even be avoiding it because this this card this king of cups always represents healing through meditation like the next level in your journey is and it's always supposed to be is meditation but when i see this in reverse something coming through like this it's like and the and on top of that the seven of wands on top of the king of pentacles both in reverse 
So it's like you're doing, you're, you're connecting in astral, like while you're sleeping or napping and things are manifesting in your wake state, but, but to put it all together and to have it make sense, you're still, um, you know, kind of struggling with that. You may have even thought like, am I going nuts? Am I going crazy? Like, is anybody else see this? Does anybody else feel this way? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, this last card here, this Ten of Swords with the Judgment. So the Ten of Swords was straight up legit, legitimately straight up. Uh, that Three of Cups is like, eh, <laughs> I'm still not sure. Um, but I really feel here that sooner than later, sooner than later, you are going to break through. You're going, you're, you're going to have to go within a bit here and, and really open up, really do some self-care, start researching how to, um, how to create an environment that allows for your spirituality to, to take shape and form. I can tell you right now, crystals, essential oils, uh, an oil diffuser, uh, anything of nature you can bring in. As you can see, I have it all over the place. Even the dried ones are awesome. Um, but flowers, plants, crystals, vases of, of water, I have them all over the place. Um, whether they're empty or not, I, I have big vases of water because they're very, it's very clearing. And, and the more water you're around, the, the more it's a living crystal so you can hear and connect, do all that good stuff. Um, let's move on to the Dragon Fate Oracle. I don't wanna freak you out with this stuff. <laughs> that this is all mostly in reverse that they're great cards it's just you're in you're in a real transition here this upside down thing but this these energies there's just so much change happening but these energies with with you know a lot heavy mother energy i feel like you're gonna be and feel like at some point you're just gonna like i will see I will see it, Scorpio, like trying to catch the wave and you're just like not and you kind of get pulled back, but finally you're on the wave and then you're like, oh, okay, this actually feels pretty good because it's in alignment with you and how you resonate. So it's just as soon as this can, as soon as this all flips, all these cards are so, so great. The rebirthing, the meditation, the coming into balance, um, you know, really being guided with your, with your guardian angel, your spirit guides, allowing for yourself to be guided, wanting to see, wanting to know more. As soon as you're like in that, in that, it'll feel really good. Oh, wow. Another lady big time lady energy here card number 14 the green lady of wide drag gotch um choose or chosen one sorry chosen one this is a great card this will help whoa oh my goodness card number 14 ah oh, right to it <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. The green lady of wide drag gotch speaks. I hereby declare that the future of the planet and its green spaces over which I preside are your are in your hands, earth child. Yes, your hands. Do not deny or defy this as you have within you all that is needed to create a better place for all. I now ask you to take a look around at the wild things in your environment and to purposefully and and purposely bring a birth of green into wait, a birth, sorry, and purposefully bring to birth the green world again. So like I was saying, bringing in those things of nature into your home or 
tending to those things will really help you connect to that energy and you're literally being told to do this um, with each breath out and each breath in the forest and you keep breathing together you are breathing in what the tree beings no longer need and what you breathe out these tree beings take in can you not see the perfection of this Please understand that no matter how small your part may feel, you are indeed and word and in energy a chosen one of the green world. That could be what you're feeling, like this big shift and pull for nature and the divine mother. And she could be really reaching out to you and you're just confused by it. Um, I, who am of the secret force of the heart, know that every, know that every small planting you take and make will bring to birth more beings. I am within each forest at its very heart, and my heart grows lighter as you plant the seeds of my forest future. Undertake to create more of this green world today and know that you and I are one. Uh, though our origins may be vastly separate in time and space, we are one. We live as one and you and know and wait, we live as one and know as one. And this green world is our serenity and bliss on this planet. I love you and will remember you and tell your tale to my kin so we can all be peacefully together again. You are so precious and you are beloved. It always gets me emotional. Always. So um, the green, okay, so about the green lady, the green lady is about true health. She governs even the health of the most minute of beings and of all that, of all the groves and forests of the waterways and hidden places from mountain to desert. She, th um, thus, she is the healer of Gaia and never has her work been so arduous and never has she gone on for so long with so little rest. This is why she now points to you. Take on some of her responsibility, ease her burden and become a part of the planet's healing. But please do it both, uh, do so in both in an active and an energetic way. She points to you because your health is precious to her and inextricably bound up in Gaia's own health. Awaken your health consciousness and exercise, eat and play well. Consciously become a collaborator in the planet's well-being. Conspire to create health wherever you are and know that you have a part to play. She is the Y of Drag Gotch, a renowned dragon fae of the British legend, the very symbol of Wales. Gets me really emotional. Oh, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's this is this is her way of connect of of easing this transition of getting you into nature, planting, gardening, hiking, um, anything that you know, bringing flowers and plants, getting into any of this stuff is is her way of reaching out to you to help you. This will bring the dragon fay into your world. This will be bring the fay into your world. This will help you connect with your with your angelics because you'll then be in that natural state of bliss. Also, art, art surrounding nature, taking pictures of nature, um, that sort of thing is what she's showing me now. It's just all of this, not only will it help you connect, heal, rise in your frequency and where you are, but it'll help her. And just like what we do in, in our healings, as we heal one, we heal all. I start every healing with this connecting to all of Gaia and sending healing energies to all of Gaia. And that's just the, that's the principle of being connected and, and, and healing. So Gaia works to heal us. We work to heal her. The mother hugs the babies, the babies hug the mother. And when we do that over and over again, we connect in a, such a deep and soulful way that we, we remember who each other are and we help each other remember 
who we are. Okay. Whoa. Um, divinatory meanings. Environmental concerns will soon be of meaning to you in a very personal level. Taken from the pages of newspapers and media reports, something close to home will alert you of the risks we run with Gaia's health, and you will decide to become a person who actively brings about well-being and goodness rather than destruction and wanton materialism. You may wish to become active in your own way and devote some energy to the form in the form of time, money, or and money to a cause. Please reduce the energy burn and use and support carbon neutral programs and working with the green lady. When this card comes up, spend time with the energy and beings of the trees, the old and wise ones of the planet, and please plant a new tree and nurture its growth. Health concerns for your own may come with this card. If so, nurture will na nature will bring you solace and healing, but know that we all play a part in the web of life and that the earth's healing is your own and your own are symbi symbiotic. Care for each other, breathe sweet air and tread lightly on the earth. Your empathic powers may be reaching new heights like we said earlier. Take time to be with the trees and uh, they will calm you and ease the bombardment of uh, auric energy you may be experiencing. Definitely the trees. I moved up to the mountains to be, to be in the forest, around the trees, closer to Gaia, closer to, to the Fae, and all of that because um, being down in the, the muck of and the chaos of society makes it really staticky and difficult for, for a very, very, for me, I just said I, I'm a medical empath physical med medical medium empath and so I feel in my body what other people feel in theirs now most people are not on that level um, or they have it to some degree but it's not like oh I feel my knee hurts your knee hurts like I'm like off on that but it's purposeful because I'm, I'm a healer so I, I know what it feels like but in any case definitely those those energies are coming in to like the buffer that keeps us separate from feeling each other is coming down so those of us that can feel more of others are really gonna feel that so it's super 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 important to understand this stuff on a physical and energetic level because um it's just going it's like it's like, how much can you pack on yourself before you're just like flat on the ground and you can't move forward? You know, it's like you need to release the energy so you can stand up and walk or run or do whatever you need to do. And um, when we have these energies and they're just still like, there's still energies that are trapped and they're in the way of energies coming in, keeping you healthy or unhealthy. It's a, it's a thing. So it's definitely important um, to look into all of this stuff on um, Scorpio. I know it's really, really intense, um, but you can take the reins of this at any moment, just connect, do meditation, learn about energy, seek out people that you trust to work with your energy. Of course, please, if you're so guided, visit my website, thehealingbutterfly.org um, to check out the services that I have. See if the Evolve Now program is right for you. Fill out a questionnaire. We'll set up a consultation, but I have other services as well or anybody else that you feel is of the light and um, has your best interest at heart and really, really wants to help you get as energetically neutral and positive as possible so you can really understand your empathic ways because I know I'm, I'm speaking to people that have very um, intense abilities empathically that um, possibly up until recently maybe the past year has been able to just kind of ignore that to a certain degree but it's gotten more intense because there's the energies that have come up with the pandemic have been more intense more fear-based energies across the board so please with that said please check out the latest videos that i put up eliminating fear tuning into the body connecting with your um, guardian angel integrating with your uh inner child and um even as far but you could go to the new moon uh 
meditation that was super powerful in it with energy that really cleared a lot, activated a lot. People tend to not remember what happened in that one because it was so much that went on. It was so, so healing, so, so magical. They all are, but anyway, go as guided. Please check them out and follow your guidance. My love is with you. You're not alone in this. And I know you're going to be just fine. Just give yourself some patience and take some time to, to understand this stuff. And you're going to be super happy, super powerful um, on your way with just a lot coming in. It's just a transitional time. Okay. Have a wonderful, filled full moon, Scorpio. Until next time. Bye for now.